about uh, the different types of female pelvis basically we have four main types of female pelvis and the names are first of all gynecoid secondly android third anthropoid and fourth platyploid okay so let us start studying gynecoid pelvis now one thing i would like to tell you is that in all the four types of pelvises we will be studying these um, seven headings that is written on the top you can see brim depth side walls uh, ischial spine sacrum subpubic arch and usual mode of birth okay so first of all let us study the gynecoid pelvis okay gynecoid pelvis occurs in about 50% of the women okay and the brim is slightly oval or transversely rounded okay transversely rounded brim is there it is slightly oval you can see from the figure the depth is moderate the side walls are straight ischial spines are blunt somewhat widely separated the sacrum is deep curved subpubic arch is wide the usual mode of delivery is vaginal spontaneous occipital anterior position that is the usual mode of delivery now come to the second type which is the android type android type occurs in 23 percent of the women coming to the brim the brim is hard shape or angulated you can see from the figure that the um, brim is heart shape the depth depth in case of gynecoid was moderate here it is deep deep depth okay these for deep um, deep depth yes and dry and side walls are convergent in gynecoid those were straight but here side walls are convergent now the ischial spines are prominent narrow interspinous diameter is there okay ischial spines were blunt in case of gynecoid but in android these are prominent and sacrum is slightly curved terminal portion is often peaked okay and subpubic arch is narrow okay now as far as the mode of delivery is concerned the usual mode of delivery in case of android pelvis is cesarean because vaginal is difficult okay and sometime um with forcep when we apply forceps but uh, there's difficulty with forcep okay so the usual mode of delivery is that of cesarean now coming to anthropoid type of the pelvis anthropoid occurs in 24 percent of the women in anthropoid pelvis the brim is oval as in case of gynecoid pelvis gynecoid was also oval here it is also oval okay but here it is wider anterior posteriorly okay anthropoid is wider anterior posteriorly whereas gynecoid was also oval but it was uh, transversely rounded okay now depth is deep side walls are straight ischial spines are prominent often with a narrow interspinous diameter sacrum is slightly curved the subpubic arch is narrow and the mode of delivery is vaginal forcep spontaneous occipital posterior or occipital anterior position okay now coming to the last type that is platyploid platyploid occurs in 3% of the women in platyploid types the brim is flattened anterior posteriorly and wide transversely flattened anterior posteriorly and wide transversely the depth the depth are shallow side walls are straight ischial spines are blunted or widely separated sacrum is slightly curved in case of the platyploid okay whereas in gynecoid it was deep curved in case of android it was slightly curved in anthropoid it was slightly curved here in platyploid also it is slightly curved okay um now in case of the um platyploid um about the subpubic arch we would say that it is wide the subpubic arch is wide okay as in case of gynecoid where is an anthropoid and android the subpubic arch are narrow now the usual mode of delivery in case of platyploid pelvis is vaginal or spontaneous spontaneous delivery is possible okay so these are some types of the 
female pelvises. Okay, the same detail can be read from the uh, talks book of Maryam Ibrahim, page number 56. Okay, when you keep that uh, table in front of you and watch this video, you will have better understanding. Okay.